Yeah, the good thing about my comp is, like, I have a taunt that actually isn't useless and gives me 10 gems. I keep scaling, and at the same time, I'm still, like, all inning with the selfless. Like, it's a really good mix in what we are doing. Who asked? No one. Find the anomaly where there's no RNG involved. Only the best player will win. I like the idea of getting Lich King into Vance, but I know how reality hits sometimes. <clears throat> Let's get to work, shall we? A lot of talent on turn 1 at least. Dragon sign insanely broken in this one? Uh, no. Bran is really broken in this one. Dragons are just a way to scale with Bran. But Bran is broken. Because Bran is like insane infinite. No, oh, no, Vaughn is talented. Rakari, Bran and Rylak combo. Dude, you don't need that shit. You just need one Bran and that's it. One Bran and ideally something you can scale with. Doesn't matter what. By level I can get faceless. If I stay I can uh, have an okay turn I guess. Are Naga good? No Naga bad. I learned it the hard way. We like it hard. <laughs> like Nagas have really good scaling but like you just get like so hard by everything. It's kind of sad. For fun cycling. It's not for fun anymore though because of this guy. Yeah, probably. Right, like waiting room? Yeah, kinda. Yo, Tortexux, thanks for the Prime, appreciate it, welcome to the kitchen. Man, the resist is really good. This does well, but like, this is really expensive. Like, it's like 1, 3, 2, 6, but like, way too expensive. I think I just buy those two and call it a day. Then I wait for Selemental and go to the moon. So my king Jezza like a king thief. Should burn eternally in hell for that. They should cut his hand for being a thief. Is this guy a rock in a uh, in the MMO game, mate from Hearthstone. Man, it sucks to buy this, but it sucks more to roll here. Yeah. Was it ever triple sell for Lava Lurker? No, it's never sell for Lava Lurker because you don't care. Like, I would only buy Lava Lurker on like 5 gold, 6 gold, 7 gold if I have the money, but like, I wouldn't sell for it. My name is Lava Lurker? That sucks. Sucks to be you! We are randomly buying sheep until we find an archetype pretty much. No, we don't buy randomly shit. We just go to tier 4 and we try, try to not lose more HP because I'm at 24. If I lose more HP, I have a threatening time. 
Like, I find one elemental, I can already be, like, close to infinite, yeah. With how many rolls I have. I just need to not take, like, 9 damage, yeah. It's really important. Good luck out there, Sushef. Then I have ways to get strong. Hopefully. Nomi is a lot better than Naga. Like, the issue with Naga is you have 10 gold. And you have a hard time to capitalize on that. Like, with elementals or like anything else that cycles, at least you can capitalize on that. Like, that's a big difference. That is what some of you guys don't understand, I think. I wonder if I just like go like this honestly to get like more gems. Seems like more relevant for now. Freeze? I have hero power, I'm not going to freeze it. Yeah. I was thinking of putting the other one back behind it. But like I thought like there's no cleave outside of wildfire and like why should I play around wildfire? And then he had white fired all over us. <laughs> it sucks. These gems were really important. That kind of sucks. Such a pain in the ass, man. Like, I'm one turn away from popping, and then the other guy wait fires me, and then this guy, like, is 2 HP and roaches too, and like, I'm. I have to pay for that. Losing this fight is so fucking horrible, and I barely lose. Like, if I get the value last turn, I don't lose because I have 10 gems. Like so bad. That's the other guy had wait for you there. Oh, you're back. But find any ingredients out there. At least our gems are big now, I guess. On the plus side. But like now I don't have money to spend on leveling. Like that's also an issue in a way, but what can you do? I have to keep the gem guy. He's too important. Watch out. 
F. Slightly too slow. And that probably, uh... Face the Stralga after his f***ing Quirvos, like... That's so dumb, dude, like, it's so f***ing dumb, though. Isn't it? I think I'm alive, actually. I think I'm alive. Like, I got really good hits, yeah. Oh, am I? Actually, it depends here. Yeah. Okay. And now we won it, right? Hopefully. I don't know. Probably buffing this too, I guess. And this. Next turn I sell this, probably, right? This stays. This stays. This stays. This leaves. For now, at least. I wish I got more attack, though, in a way. Like, I wish I got Piper with you. Oh, a good target. But also work. Wait! I'm getting Piper value! <laughs> Man, I wish he had 4 menaces so I could get more. 1557. Man! <laughs> That's something, isn't it? I wish we could go for it, but... I actually need like stuff like Nizao now, I think. Nah, Makao never leaves. Makao is perma. Like, Makao is really good for, like, selfless alone. That alone makes Makao already, like, turbo. I need, like, yeah. You're a bag of HP now. I have a lot of attack too. I have both. I need to buff the Macau a bit more. <clears throat> Why do you buff selfless? So it survives. Now I have to buff m selfless uh, Macau a lot actually from here. Then my Macau selfless can go infinite. Just run more selfless and sell this. Hmm. Ideally, I would run more Macau though. I 
Thrasher. It's also not that bad, but also not that good. I was too slow at the end. Your board plays around a lot. My board? You do you know what I play around here? Maybe if King Bachcock blocks me. Look at the Macau, look at the moves. The only problem is if someone has like really high stats. That's what we can't deal with. We can't deal with really high stats, like 1k plus attack and health. Like I can't beat people like that. I don't have access for poison, I don't have room. Sixty nine for twenty gems is a dream. Yeah, let's see about that. Wildfire, my horse. Taunted Lyra is like really hard to deal with for us. But it is what it is. Phalanx. <laughs> okay. In before he wins because he's holding like giga birds in hand. I was worried about poison. I r kinda like the wildfire for that. He's not dead though. Necro on these nuts. I like the Necro, like once I sell this. Not like this. This probably stays long though. Dude, I'm so worried about a taunted Leroy. But he tied with Ghost. He's going for meme stuff, right? But maybe he switches to poison here. Let's see. Let's see what he is cooking. Bristolbech? Bristolbech actually doesn't fit that well into our comp though. <laughs> I 
Well, Wildfire not with the biggest grief hit. I am impressed. Yeah, the good thing about my comp is, like, I have a taunt that actually isn't useless and gives me 10 gems. I keep scaling and at the same time I'm still, like, all-inning with the selfless. Like, it's a really good mix in what we are doing. Now I have to sack one gem, though, but it's fine, right, for the Rylak all-in. I'm going to sack another one with this. Is Nizo better than 4 Reaper? No and yes. <laughs> like no because like it can hit into Leroy and yes because Mecha Yaraxos gives the uh, 4 Reaper Wind Fury which also makes 4 Reaper better. Checkmate. Ideally I get a second Macau honestly. I feel like Macau is like the best thing I can do and it's not even close. Why don't want to roll for a Macau only? I'm going to make a second chat. Nice. Keep procking it. Proc the Rylak. Don't be a roach. Dude, we are only at 117 because I don't have Ren, but still, right? You would assume I'm bigger with how long we are milking. But we don't have Ren Titus, to be fair. That's what you guys don't think about. No one said anything. The Roach Ross is attacking. Who asked? No one. Imagine I would wait every time for someone to ask a question. That would be a dang timeline actually. Is there any reason to run stealth? Not really. That's never a reason to run it, I feel like. <laughs> Actually, now I actually want to keep my comp like this. There's not much reason to, to go too crazy, I think. I actually want to milk more? No, the thing is more like the Rylak is actually a taunt. And the taunt is actually protection, so... With Reborn. Like, it's a taunt, and it actually has upsides. Ooh. Hit the 30-30, or the 32, hit one of them. Don't hit my wildfire, please. I invested a fortune in him. It's fine. That's why we spread the buffs. It doesn't matter, I still win. I distributed enough. My combo is really hard to beat. You broke the game, GG, thanks you. That was fun. That was a fun comp with the infinite shields. Now there are comps that beat it, but like you need to like uh, scale harder than that. That's hard to do. I never knew you can do that. Yeah, that's where start, the old comps come handy. Like with poison murlocs, this used to be like a strategy you go for. 